Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Today is one of those days I want to put my sweatpants on, I want to watch a movie. I want to eat popcorn and not be interrupted. <laughs> I know. It really is one of those kind of just gloomy, dreary days. Like you said, it's a movie day. It is. You just want to stay inside. Now, tomorrow, it's not going to be exceptionally sunny, but it will be better than what we saw for today. So Good. if you do want to get outside and celebrate, Mom, you certainly have the chance. For tonight, though, you're going to need the umbrella. Here's a live look outside at MSU where it's kind of hard to see, but the rain is falling. The streets are wet. If you're heading out and about, like I said, the umbrella and the raincoat are both a good idea. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. Light showers continue to work their way across the region. They'll be sticking with us throughout the overnight time frame. Now we are expecting a lot of this activity to begin to shift a little farther south, mainly after around midnight or so. We'll start to see a lot of that rain pulling to the south of the Lansing region. The Lansing will continue to see at least some light rain during the overnight time frame. Waking up on Sunday morning, a few light showers will linger, but then this whole system finally clears out as we head towards Sunday afternoon. The stationary front that has really been the producer of all this rain over the last couple of days will finally begin to push farther to the south. That should take a lot of the rain with it, but you'll notice a lot of these showers developing over Wisconsin will continue to funnel into mid-Michigan through the overnight hours into early Sunday morning before all of this finally comes to an end. So here's a look at your future track heading into around 11 o'clock or so. Again, those light showers continue. A lot of this activity does begin to shift farther south after midnight or so. We'll still see some showers and even the potential for a few rumbles of thunder as we head throughout the overnight hours. But again, look Look how a lot of it sticks mainly to the south right along the state line or portions down towards Indiana and into Ohio. But waking up on Sunday morning at 6 o'clock can't rule out the potential for at least a few light showers early in the morning. But as we head towards the afternoon, most of us will be dry by right around lunchtime or so. So if you do want to get outside, if you want to go for a picnic or anything like that with mom, you have the chance. I do want to warn you though that the clouds unfortunately will be sticking around for a good portion of the day. You may see some clearing to the north near Lansing, but if you're Jackson down to the south, you are going to be seeing mostly cloudy conditions for most of the day, but at least it will be dry. So if you do want to be outside, you have that chance, just not so much in the way of sunshine. We will see more clearing as we head towards Sunday evening. Really should be a nice day overall to celebrate mom. Highs tomorrow will climb into the upper 60s, which is warmer than what we saw for today with highs only in the middle 50s. Heading into the overnight hours as we head towards Monday, mainly clear, although a few scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely to develop Monday morning. A lot of this will come to an end as we head towards Monday afternoon as well. So just a couple different rounds of showers as we start off the work week. Temperatures right now, most of us are hanging out in the upper 40s or the lower 50s. It's currently 50 degrees in Lansing, Mason and Jackson. 49 your current temperature in Charlotte, 49 as well. Well, if you're heading out the door in Ann Arbor for tonight, temperatures will eventually fall down into about the middle 40s with showers. Thunderstorms are possible. They'll be very isolated and a lot of that will stay to the south of the state. Uh, winds will come in from the east at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And for tomorrow, for our Mother's Day, be sure you, of course, contact Mom and tell her Happy Mother's Day. We'll see a little bit of some rain in the morning, but then we do dry out mostly cloudy for the rest of the day. Highs right around normal for this time of year in the upper 60s. In your seven day forecast, Warmer as we head towards the start of the work week. 78 will be our high on Monday, 79 on Tuesday, 78 as we head towards Wednesday. We do see another chance for showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday and Saturday. You can't forget about mom tomorrow. No, you can't. You know, you got to call her, tell her you love her, all that stuff. An email, something. something.